الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لئن شكرتم لأزيدنكم ولئن كفرتم إن عذابين شديد صدق الله العظيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم وتحنن على سيدنا وحبيبنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وأتباعه وأزواجه وذرياته. Respected brothers, elders. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran لَإِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ that if you thank me, I will increase. وَلَإِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ And if you refuse and you reject, إِنَّ عَذَابِي لَشَدِيدٌ My punishment is very severe. So what do we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for? Each and every blessing that we have, even if it is a illness, it is still a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Rabbul Izzat ne Quran me farmaya hai, ke mera shukar ada karo, ta ke me mazid do, aur jo inkar karega, یاد رہے کہ میرا عذاب بہت زیادہ شدید ہے اور سخت ہے تو اللہ رب العزت کا شکر کس چیز پر ادا کیا جائے تو اگر دیکھا جائے ہر چیز اللہ رب العزت کی نعمت ہے ہمارے لئے وہ اچھے ایام ہو یا بھرے ایام ہو وہ صحت والی حیات ہو یا بیماری ہو وہ بیماری بھی بذات خود اللہ رب العزت کی طرف سے ایک نعمت ہے جس دیر یہ بندہ بیماری میں مبتلا ہوگا جتنی دیر اور یہ صبر کرتا جائے گا اس کو صبر کا بھی عجر ملتا جائے گا اور اللہ رب العزت نے اس انسان کے لیے اس مومن کے لیے ایک مقام بنایا ہوتا ہے کہ اس شخص کو اس مقام تک پہنچنا ہے اس کے اعمال اتنے ہوتے نہیں تو اللہ رب العزت اس پر کچھ آزمائش کچھ امتحانات ڈال دیتے ہیں اس میں اس شخص کو مبتلا کر دیتے ہیں یہ انسان بیمار ہو جاتا ہے اس پر یہ اللہ رب العزت کا شکر بھی ادا کرتا ہے صبر بھی کیا کرتا ہے تو اللہ رب العزت اس کو اس مقام تک پہنچا دیتا ہے تو اگر دیکھا جائے بیماری بھی اللہ رب العزت کی نعمت ہے اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی has a level for an individual fixed in paradise in jannah because us as humans we are careless and it is possible that our a'mal and our deeds our rewards that we have gained are not enough for us to reach that certain level that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got fixed for us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make us go through some difficulties He will put us in through some hardship whether it be health whether it be wealth whether it be hunger however the form is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test this individual so that he has sabr, he has patience and he is grateful, he, she thanks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
the long the amount the period that this individual is not feeling well or he is going through or she is facing some hardship or difficulties Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps increasing this individual's level until he or she reaches to that level that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has had fixed for them. So therefore, even an illness, it is a great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear respected brothers, we have many, many blessings, many, many ni'mats. Many blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But one of the greatest blessings is having these luxuries and most importantly having aman, having peace. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa taslim. As that Ibrahim alayhi salam, he was a great mujahid of tawheed. He would go into the kingdom of the big kings of that time. And he would invite them to worship one God, one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was a great mujahid and a great da'i of tawheed. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gave him the status of an imam as a leader, then his dua was, وَرْزُقْ أَهْلَهُ مِنَ الثَّمَرَاتِ مَنْ آمَنَ مِنْهُمْ Allah, so it's mentioned in the Qur'an, Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam would ask for peace. And second thing he would ask for, it is food, meaning economy for the state. When he made Mecca, when he built the Kaaba, the two du'as which he asked for, peace and fluent economy. This, these are the two things he asked for. A great da'i like Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam, his dua, it changed to peace and ma'isha. So we need to understand that these are great blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Great blessings. If you have peace in your house, if you have peace in your city, if you have peace in your country, you should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a great blessing. It's a dua, it is something that even Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam would pray to Allah for. And then if your house is running well, if your country is running well, and you have everything available, we should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, there are still some places around the globe where the economy, it is going through very hardships. And if it's an Islamic country, if it's our Muslim brothers, it becomes our responsibility to help them, support them with our du'as financially, however form, whatever form it is. Because these, number one, try our best to make sure we have peace in our places. And secondly, our economy is good. Now, when your economy is good, you have lots of luxuries. In the UK, Alhamdulillah, we have peace. And the economy is good, so the governments are doing their jobs correctly. We don't see an individual walking on the street in the darkness and there's no lamppost, so there's no light. We don't see somebody walking on the street and next minute, you know, he's fell in the gutter. Because there is no lid. <coughs> Yes, we have these luxuries. Now, recently in Morocco last week, or a couple of weeks, I think, a little child was walking by the name of Rayyan, and he fell inside a well. Six-year-old, I think. Five days he was stuck in that well, and authorities tried their utmost best when they took him out. By the time they were taking him to the hospital, he passed away. In the well, he stayed alive. When he came to the means where he should have been alive, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took his soul. And it's a clear message to the world. Yuhyi wa yumid. The one who gives life and the one who gives death. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
And just on Tuesday in Afghanistan, in the province of Zabul, there was another child, by the he was six years old. And he was walking and he fell inside a well. And that six year old, mashallah, the authorities, the leaders over there, the current government, they done a fantastic job. Ministers, they stayed awake all night outside that well. And they used whatever means they had. They tried their utmost best to get that young child out. But today, the, today or last night, it was confirmed that that child has also passed away. So we have these luxuries. Other people around the world do not have luxuries. Just imagine your child stuck inside a well. The camera goes all the way down and you see your child, he's got blood on his face. He's, he's covered in bruises and he's all injured. And he's talking to you with a broken voice through the camera. How will those parents feel? And then you have that hope, yes, alhamdulillah, finally, they're very close, they're two meters away, they're one meter away. And just within a few minutes, my child will come out. And they take your child out. And you have all the hope, you're wishing, yes, finally, it's happened, alhamdulillah. At that time, your child passes away. So these are all blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to thank and if someone, if another Muslim brother, another Muslim sister is going through pain, going through difficulties, we should stand up together and support them. However way we can, whether it's with our du'as, whether it's financially, whether it's few words for them. As Muslims, we have to stand united and ask, always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for peace and good economy in all Muslim Lands. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept whatever has been heard, read and said.